Hi everyone, this is Autobots for you. Let's continue our game of Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. Just finished business from last time. Or, I guess that's all was unfinished business, but whatever. Okay, let's go more to uh, Tudor.
Ah, the Conqueror of Copperbell returns. Thanks to you, our minimum operations can resume. And Alda will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good tidings with Papashan the next time I see him. As for you, you'll mark a report to Momodi. It'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Ah! No. Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. Please, sir. I didn't steal nothing. I bought this. Paid for it me with me own coin. What rot? You refugees are all the same. You couldn't afford a maggoty mole meat, much less a choice cut of, do of dodo. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole, or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know. Help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. <laughs> but I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve is me witness. Please, adventurer, help me, I beg of ye. I swear on me mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with a coin I'd saved. I only want to treat me children to a decent meal. <laughs> Japanese motion capture, so funny. And who the hells are you when you're at home? The dog's master? I've had enough of this murmurous farce. You lot, teach them a lesson. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventure. I thank you thrice over. There are more refugees than when I last looked. 
and you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are there only why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes, and problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? It's the same thing happening in other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Alda has a reputation for being prosper prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does, but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the Brass Blaze would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire? Patrolling the streets for riffraff? It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you have no coin, you have no hope. <sighs> what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Grab your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thanaland. Thank you for your customs, ma'am. Please come again. Looking around, you think that Alda was well on with it in on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Sir, are you all right? What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? What? You saw her by that meat, you say? That's absurd. Hey, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? Overlook this, but just this once. God bless you, adventurer. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about it. that ends well. We meet again. Pray do not mistake my intent, for it is always honorable, but I have been watching you ever since you departed, Ulta. You play part of an envoy to perfection, confident as a man on a diplomatic mission should be, yet unflailingly courteous to your, pe to your betters. And when your travels led you in the midst of danger, you faced it without so much of a flinch. So much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I confess to being somewhat in awe of you. Ah, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid those in need, even when the words were all the reward you could expect to receive. Such selflessness is a rare thing in this day and age. All of which leads me to conclude that you are indeed the one whom I have been looking for, an adventurer possessed of very rare set of qualities. To be sure, your rescue of that damsel in distress was more of a happy accident. Rescue you, rescue her you did, and that is what matters in the end. I feel I should mention at this point, I also harbor a burning interest in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent, and can help you to understand it. She and I belong to the same organization, and we should both be delighted beyond words if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being part of such a collective. 
For one, we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give me your answer now. Think upon it, and if you feel moved to help us, and I, as I pray you shall, speak with Momori, the ever lovely and youthful mistress of the quicksand. Tell her the Sions of the Seventh Dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. Scenes like that are becoming even more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, you'll probably be all right. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of, of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pester me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tale of a gentleman's woes when the women, with the women folk from time to time. Ah, Miyamurai. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would have ever guessed that you had been hard hard at it with giants in the dark. I never doubted for a moment that you succeed, of course, and neither did Papashan, which ain't to say that he, he won't be overjoyed. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak to you for a while now. My name is Edda. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... when... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avery, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw, for, he saw you for what you were, you see, an adventurer's adventurer, and swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have, not, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of you, but when I think of the man you are, of that, all, of all that you've achieved, I find that I am inspired, just, every, just as every once was. And so I decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask your name. Meow, 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 meow. Meowmerai Meowmerger. I, shall, I shan't forget. Thank you, Meowmerai Meowmerger. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Adventuring can be a cruel, bleeding business. Time was, I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't I didn't want aught to do with, with you lot, though it'd be a right pain in the arse looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Miyamurai. Eh? What did you say? You want to know about this... About the Sions of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Listen, Miyamurai. The Sions ain't no... The Sions ain't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Adventures aspiring to greatness come through all the time, but it's rare to see one that actually achieves some measure of success. Keep at it, Miyamurai, and who knows what you'll accomplish. So you want to know more, then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on another, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose, on account of being, being all done. 
Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these Sions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who have made it their mission to solve some of Yarzia's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Myanmarai. Now, I've been given leave to tell you to find the Sions, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Yarzia's enemies would very much like to know. The Sions are headed are headquartered in Vesser Bay out in western Thanlan. The place you're looking for is called the Walking Sands. Give your name to whoever is at the entrance, and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Myanmarai, and the days ahead promise to be in, to be busy, but I hope you won't forget your old friend, Mamodi. Drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. This is the reception just for flights bound to Vanderville Gold Saucer. Before proceeding, I must ask you to submit your ticket for inspection. Ahem. <clears throat> you do have a ticket, yes? It appears that everything is in order. An airship will, will be departing shortly before the next bell. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Gold saucer now accessible. Oh my god, the quest is just getting there. <laughs> Welcome to the Manorville Gold Saucer, where your dreams come true. That is, all your dreams can come true if you have enough Mandeville Gold Saucer points. Gil can be exchanged for MGP at the main counter in the middle of the entrance square. The current rate is 10 Gil for 1 MGP. Old Allah prevents the Gold Saucer from exchanging MGP if the patient already possesses more than 500. MGP cannot be converted back into Gil, but the points can be used to purchase an assortment of wonderful prizes from the prize claim attendant, also located at the main counter in the entrance square. Airship Planning seemed eager to welcome the Gold Saucer. Welcome, honored guests, to the Manderville Gold Saucer, where your wildest dreams are, are ever but a card or a trunk beak away from coming true. 
this is your first visit, nothing would please us more than to give you a full tour of our establishment. That you might enjoy its uh, wonders to the fullest. At the conclusion of the tour, it is our custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift, straight from the vaults of our illustrious proprietor himself. Consider it Master Manderville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take a tour, please proceed to the main counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the gold saucer. As a surge, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing that your visit is a pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. Traveler to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cackpot, acquire and redeem Manderville Gold Saucer points, and much, much more. But what in the world are Manderville Gold Saucer points, I hear you cry? A most astute question, and one which I shall be only too happy to answer. But first, if I may direct your gaze to the left, beyond those majestic gates, you will find the Chocobo Square, home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. Hey, what Chocobo owners have not dreamed of pitting their fleetest uh, bird against the realm's finest in a pulse quickening dash of fame and fortune? Truly, the sport of Sotheby's. And should you desire a more elaborate contest of strategy, you will surely find find it in Minion Square, at the Lord of Vermilion Tables, where would-be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, Manderville Gold Saucer Points. Most of the put, MGP, as we call it for short, is the currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these walls. But my associate here besides me can tell you more, including how to go about acquiring some MVP for your very own. Speak with him, sir. Continue your tour. So, you're about to experience the wonders of the gold saucer for the first time. How I envy you. Ah, before you venture forth, you'll want to exchange a share of your deal for MVP, a service which is my great honor to provide. With MGP in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all the fabulous attractions we have to offer, and all the wonderful games. If you should play them with skill, you'll find your little sack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100 fold. Now that you know the fundamentals, you're set to step out of the floor of the gold saucer. Your tour will continue at the card square to the southwest. To the southwest. The card trader there will be your guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your gill for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I try for to leave nothing unexplained, there truly is no substitute for first-hand experience, and I heartily recommend you trying your hand at as many of our amusements for yourself. Well, aren't you a handsome one? Welcome to Card Square, home of the Triple Triad Tables. What's the Triple Triad, you ask? Why, only the mind-bending, pulse-pounding, maddeningly Moorish card game that has taken the realm by storm. Don't take my word for it. Behold. Can you not feel the tension in the air? Form a hand of five cards and play the role of Field General, sending your bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience the excitement for yourself, you need only ask. Start today, and we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help you on your way. You can face off against a single opponent at a time, or you can crave an even greater test of skills, take part in one of our regularly regular tournaments. And believe me when I tell you, there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on a battlefield after vanquishing all comers. You should really try it. A minute to learn, a lifetime to master. That's triple triad. Ah, but I'm getting carried away. You have a tour to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination. Not that there's a hurry, of course. If you'd like to play a hand or two before you go, you but save the word.
You look lost, honey. Why don't I show you around? I'm dying for some company. Feast your eyes on the Wonder Square. From gripping games and awe-inspiring attractions to the finest in fine dining and the freshest of refreshments, there's no end to the wondrous house within these halls. And let's not forget the most wondrous of them all, El Colosso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactar mascot, is the star of some of our most popular events. Suffice to say, you won't want to miss them. Now, I know what you're thinking. With everything going on at the Gold Saucer, how can I ever hope to keep up? But you needn't worry, my fellow gatekeepers and I will always be on hand to see that you don't miss a thing. From the continuation of your tour, I've been instructed to direct you into the waiting arms of my colleague, Lolita, at the Cackpock Board. She is one of our most popular girls, and once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Well, ta-ta for now.
Greetings, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I am Melinda, and I'd like to personally welcome you to Event Square. The most spacious of all the areas of, of the Gold Saucer, Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. Doubtless, the sizable stage in the middle of the square has caught your eye. That is the scene of some of our most sensational attractions, so don't be shy about taking center stage. And after the curtain has fallen, why don't you try changing your life forever at the Jumbo Packbot? All you need is a handful of NGD and a head full of dreams. Just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. You never know just when uh, Mia will smile upon you. Now, as much as I've enjoyed getting to know you, I'm afraid the time for us it is time for us to part. The next and final leg of your tour takes you to Round Square. Don't think too hard about the name, darling. Even I'm not sure what it's supposed to make sense. Even I'm not sure it's supposed to make sense. Time visitor, I was told to expect. A thousand welcomes to the Gold Saucer, and a thousand welcomes to Round Square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to more important matters, is that lofty peak not a sight to behold? That is Mount Coral, the main attraction here at Round Square. One of our most thrilling events, events pits our customers against each other in the challenge to see who can most swiftly scale its heights. I tell you, the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the Gold Saucer. While I'm sure you're eager to start enjoying yourself, pay not to forget to return to the main counter and claim your complimentary gift. Fair traveler, prepare to test your luck with me. Welcome back, honored guest. I trust you've come away from the tour with a great appreciation of all the goals also has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patronage, it is my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the personal vaults of our esteemed proprietor. Well, knock me down with a chocobo tail feather. Is that a new customer I see? Haha, <laughs> I could hardly have uh, picked a better time to drop in for an impromptu inspection. Ah, Master Roland. Yes, the Tristan here has, has but this moment completed his introductory tour. Is that so? Well, then allow me to personally welcome you to the Gold Saucer. I am Roland, good sir, the fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our esteemed proprietor. Great man, if ever, if ever there was one. You're an adventurer, yes? Aye, your dress and bearing told me as much. Dare say, then, that on your travels you have seen firsthand the difficulties yet which plague our nation. Witness the struggles of Alamihogos displaced masses, those whose homes were consumed by the fires of the calamity. The Sultan is not unsympathetic to their plight, of course, yet how can one begin to provide succor to such countless multitudes? One man had an answer. Gilbert Mandeville had a dream, a 
dream of a house of untold wonders that would provide stable employment and lodgings to the displaced uh, mirth and merriment to the dis dis disconsolate and pros uh, prosperity and plenty to the sultanate at large. To many of our patrons, the Gold Saucer is merely Eros' foremost entertainment venue, a place to forget about their cares for the day. To me, it is one of the, of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt, a miracle wrought by the hand of the greatest man I've ever known. Someone tells me you understand that which I have told you, that you perchance share a similar dream. But I shall keep you no longer. The Gold Saucer and its wonders await you, friend. Pray enjoy them to your heart's content. Till we meet again, may the spinner's pull ever be ever kind. I caught my sprint only got me down the steps.
Smarter wants to show you a whole new world of colors. You there. Yes, you, the decisively unfashionable adventurer. Gods, gods be good. Never in my life have I seen such unapologetic focus upon function at the extreme cost of form. The mere sight of you, of you fair makes my eyes bleed. As a lover of all things aesthetically pleasing, I cannot in good conscience allow you to continue roaming the world in that sorry state. I believe your appearance has yet to be salvaged through the use of color. I will teach you how to go about dyeing your outfit. But first, I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious thirst. I won't be able to talk any length of time. Can you dare buy me a bottle of orange juice uh, at the stall by the northern gates, would you? Once I have moistened my throat, we, are, we shall see through the business of remedying your appearance. This is never clear. In the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. <clears throat> I would thank you not to sneak up to me like, like that. Now, please be advised that this this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to. You're at the behest of Thancred? My sincerest apologies. May you please have your name? Yamran Yamador. Yamran Yamador. Ah, here you are. Ahem. I bid you welcome to the Walking Sands, headquarters of the Sions of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know to expect you. You are Miyamarine Yamador. Tatara said, said word that you had arrived. Lady Minifilia, Minifilia has eagerly waited your company. You're coming. This way, if you please.
So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul, a power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. And order things for Amazon. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. You are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and on a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals, individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to, to consult a retainer, a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. 
Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us in the fullest, to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you'll agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know of our purpose and what we can offer you, I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. Good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Hiring a retainer. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to carry out such tasks as storing excess gill and gear, or selling unwanted items on the markets. They may also be sent afield on ventures. A contractor for service can be drafted by uh, Fridwib in Limsa Lominsa, uh, Parnell in Gridania, and Chichabi in Ulda, or Pernula in Ishgard. Players may hire no more than eight retainers at once. Okay, and uh, let me log out for just a bit. I'll be back in a little. Uh, this is Odd Pass for you watching Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. Um, yeah, give me a couple minutes, and I'll be back. Then we'll find out what happens next. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.